All right, YouTube. Um, so I'm fiddling around with my lawnmower. It's a Gravely Zero Turn ZT42, and I have to access the solenoid, which is under this rail. Um, I'm doing some troubleshooting, so uh, it's really no easy way to access it other than, I mean, I'm gonna have to remove the gas tank and all these panels over here to get under there. So this gas tank is held by this bracket and there is a bolt right here, a screw right here that removes this bracket. And then there's two 3 8 bolts over here. This one's also 3 8 And for this nut right there, I used an 11 millimeter socket. I already disconnected my fuel line. Bracket comes out. I had to also remove my battery. So I, I removed my battery. Now to remove the gas tank, which we're doing right now. There's on this panel right here. This panel right here was held by these three plastic pins, you know, I just pushed them out. And there's one 13 millimeter nut here, one here in the front, and one down here on the bottom right here on the stud. So we already removed those. Now you just have to tilt your gas tank a little bit so you can get this out. And there are two nuts right here holding this red panel. Using an 11 millimeter socket for that. Now we have to disconnect this canister off of the gas tank. We'll just use some pliers. Fuel line should just come off like that, and you can move this out the way. I'll disconnect this safety switch just so it's not in my way. Don't forget to connect it back. Okay, so my original intent was to pull the gas tank out, but it's not as easy as it looks. So just to remove the solenoid, there's two 3 8 screws right here holding it in place. From the back side, you can see the thread sticking through the frame right here. And I'm just going to feel my way around the front to loosen them up.
It's a little tight in there. A nut driver with the magnetic tip really helps. So once you have been able to scoot the gas tank out of the way, uh, you'll be able to test your solenoid to see if it's good or bad. And removing the two screws will allow you to replace it with the new one.